when the days are really hot in the desert, the late afternoon, a lot more reptiles will come out because it's simply been too hot for them during the day. So this time they're out and about, a few lizards around. Let's go and see what we can find. Check this out. Some tail slides here, some footprints, a little fresh scratching. We're from a type of monitor lizard that lives out here and he hunts through these areas. He'll eat venomous snakes, other smaller lizards. And he's a bit like the T-Rex of this environment, just cruises around like a giant land crocodile, catching other reptiles, whatever he can get and swallow. So follow these tracks. He should be out warming himself in the sun, getting ready to go hunting for the day. Here we have fresh tail drags going into a rabbit warren. Ah, there he is over there. The ever watchful eye of the Sangoana, Varana Scaldi. He's one of Australia's most widely distributed of all the varanid species or goanna species. He's found in all the states and he's an awesome digger. You can see those massive claws on his back and front legs. He's really good at digging. They'll dig their burrows and they'll go down there in the hot parts of the day. They'll also overtake any other warrens from rabbits or other animals available. He's usually distinguished by a yellow tip on his tail, beautiful yellow circles on his legs. Beautiful lizard. In Central Australia, he's known to the Pitjantjatjara people as Tinker, and he is highly prized as a bush tucker. Indigenous will dig them up out of their holes and then roast them on the coals and then eat them. Australia has the largest number of varanids in the world. The largest being the Prenti, which is over two metres in length, right down to the small pygmy monitors, under 30 centimetres in length. Now that this monitor lizard has reached his optimum temperature, he's moved into the shade, and he's basically sitting in the ambush position, waiting. Hear something, see something, or smell something that may become his lunch or his dinner. They'll actively track stuff down. They'll use their forked tongue, picking up the scent particles in the air. So you can see that awesome camouflage. He's in amongst this heath myrtle here, which is in flower at the moment. And the dots and circles on his skin are very similar to those on the flowers. Very hard to see. Monitor lizards are the fastest moving reptile on the entire planet. And a one metre one of these guys could easily outrun a human being over a short distance. You can see those awesome claws there at the front that he uses for digging. Now, they use their lungs different to other lizards. They actually pump air in and out as they run, which enables them to run a lot further and not get a lactic acid build up as fast as other reptiles would, as they're constantly pumping oxygen to their bodies. They're an extremely alert lizard with awesome eyesight. He also has a forked tongue. Not a lot of other lizards have a forked tongue and he uses this to pick up the scent of his prey. Now with a forked tongue, if the scent is stronger to the left side, the left fork will actually steer him towards his prey. If the scent is stronger on the right side, the right part of the fork will lead him to his prey. You can see he's highly alert. Any slightest sound, slight movement, you can see with that eyesight, super sharp eyesight. We just had a couple of rabbits run past, which is unusual for this time of the day. Maybe they were chased out of their warren 
Bye, Predator.